Welcome to Alpha Cars and Motorcycles. Uh, this is part two of the uh, road test for the Humvee. And uh, we're going to take you on it with us. Before we do, for those of you that haven't seen the part one, just a quick walk around the vehicle. As you can see, beautiful flat finish, uh, extraordinary set of accessories. Yes, let's go in that direction. Heavy duty uh, front bumper. I mean, everything is heavy duty on this vehicle. Check this out. Four door uh, soft top arrangement. Cargo rack. Another bumper. And of course it's heavy duty with the winch integrated front and rear bumper. And then on the inside, we have uh, a nice bed. And uh, speaking of inside, look at that. It's a uh, nice and comfy seat that, seats that match the uh, roof and the material on the doors. Is there anything else we should cover on the outside? I think we uh, should open the hood and check out the engine bay. Oh yes, we haven't done it in yeah, part one. We, we need yes, to of course. Cover the engine bay condition. Yes, let's see if uh, this is a task that you can do by yourself, one person. Looks like it's too big of a task, but it isn't. We have a couple of pins here we need to free up. So for that, I'm not sure if I'll have enough weight, but we're gonna put a little bit of weight right here. And to release one of these pins, you need to push the, the little release button and then it comes out. And the other side, we already have that loosened up. So I have two pins. So now, we're going to flip this over and it's quite substantial. And now we can open the hood. And there it is. So as we always do with former military Humvees, this one went through our overhaul, but as you can see where it says main RS maintenance center, that was a brand new engine and other drivetrain components that were installed during a complete overhaul in January of 2003. So we'll have all the details. We do have all the details on our website. So definitely check that out. And uh, we also have an underbody video of this, uh, underbody segment of this video you'll see down the road at the end of the, towards the end and it's quite impressive you can see a little bit of what we've done here so all the previous loose uh paint protective uh frame protective materials we cleaned all that up if there was any surface rust we treated it chemically and then the uh, new product was applied and this is a hard wax which is an english product and it's quite amazing so let's take a look on the other side and you can see things are nice and clean here. Everything is in proper working order. Here we have the oil uh, transmission cooler, we have the power steering cooler, we have the radiator, uh, we have uh, the belts that are all accessible. We have one of the best uh, engines uh, one can think of, which is a 6.5 liter diesel. And then, as you can see, the suspension, everything is in awesome condition. We also put a new harness, you can see right here. We always do that, the new electrical harness for the engine compartment. And look at how well this bumper's engineered. Yes, yeah. You can see the clearances, everything, everything clears perfectly with no contact to, to have the the yeah, that was a lot of work for our team. It didn't actually work out that way. When we were tasked to install these accessories, we had to do uh, quite a bit of modifications and fine tuning. And then on the inside, it's all very tacky uh, because again, we put uh, extraordinary level of uh, rust preventive uh, coatings on the inside of everything. So we upgraded this from a, but from a kind of like a mechanical switch to this ignition lock. So now the, uh, the glow plug light just went out. And 
if we crank this key, it will start right up. And again, just for those viewers that would like the extra insur insurance, yeah, I put my hand on, I have my hand on the exhaust manifold, so it's a true cold start. And it's chilly. Look at us. We have these jackets. It's sunny, but it's chilly. And check out the exhaust. There's no smoke, not a puff of smoke. It's beautifully tuned. So we've got a good running engine over here. Over here. Nice and smooth. I like this diesel engine. Awesome. Well, now let's button it up and then we'll see you guys in the interior. Yes. So welcome to the roomy inside of the Humvee. It's very nice, very simple, very, very clean here. And when I say roomy, it's like there's a lot of space here. We mentioned that in the previous video. And Look, I'm reaching across the cabin and it's, yeah, I'm not even halfway to you. <laughs> yes, absolutely. And we do have excellent condition glass here. It's in great shape. We do have the doors. We're going to keep them on for now. You can take them easily off. We showed how it was before. We do have the seat belts. And we have full three-point seat belts here in the front. And we have lap belts in the back. Ian is going to show you those. So parking brake is off. We're neutral. We're going to put it in drive. As you can see, engine speed practically didn't change. And you definitely want to allow yourself a little bit more room when you're getting on the road, because on a narrow road, you're gonna need just a little bit more. Actually, it's not bad. It's got a very decent radius of turning. I love the seats, very comfortable. Steering wheel is nice and straight. Take the back roads. Yeah, it, it handles nice. It doesn't lean very wide. Yeah. It's a three-speed transmission, and you can't even feel how it's shifting. You can't even feel how it's shifting. And I guess it's not that loud. Can you hear me over there? I can hear you. Okay. So, yeah, and the handling is quite impressive. Nice steering response. The steering surprisingly light and direct. Oh yeah. Yeah, and totally predictable. So it drives very, very nice. Can you go on the highway? That's a very common question. Of course you can. We've all seen Humvees on the highways. You're not gonna go like 80, 90 miles an hour, but you certainly can go, looks like, you know, 55, maybe even 60. It's not a speed demon, but if you do need to, uh, get to in some remote areas you can definitely get there Yeah, very decent power and acceleration And the brakes are unbelievable on these things you just barely touch the brake pedal and effortlessly it stops Handling is great. It's literally just stuck to the road. Ian, this thing is unbelievable. It's like yeah. a sports car. <laughs> and if you look at those big wheels and tires, you would never think it's gonna be like this responsive to the steering and the brakes too. And look at the view. That's beautiful. And then you sit so high, you can just see everything. Yeah, the mirrors provide actually 
excellent, surprisingly excellent visibility. And there's a trick. In fact, there are directions how to set up that mirror, that, that one on the right side. I guess if we were to do a manual shift, yeah, just put it in second gear. Nice and crisp. And this is first gear. You can just tell how the drivetrain just grabs everything. So we're gonna pick in up. I almost forgot here. Yeah, I was almost gonna start walking back to Alpha Cars. Yes. It'd be a nice walk on today's. Oh, it day. is a good day for a walk. Yeah. There wouldn't be much work getting done while I walk though. So we will take a little bit of highway. Well, it's a two-lane highway. And you know what? I was just doing some maneuvering back and forth. And I actually like the fact that it doesn't have the uh, park position. Yeah. It just has like reverse neutral drive. So when you need to maneuver back and forth, mm. I'm not sure if they've done it just for military needs because it, it you can do things quicker for sure. And given the mass and the size and the weight, it actually has very good dynamics. So yeah, we're just about 50 miles an hour and it's still Steering response tracks nice and straight. It doesn't pull to either side. I can only imagine how much fun it would be on some uh, dirt roads and some off-road environment. And Alpha Cars is coming up on our left. And again, brakes are awesome. And look at that, nice and straight. The steering wheel doesn't just doesn't move as I'm braking. Turn signals are on, and uh, we upgraded the light switch, so it has some nice functionality. I mean, on those curbs on the road, I think I had almost, I think I had as much fun in this as we did in the E36 M3. I know, <laughs> the, it the, it handled unbelievable. Yeah, it's like I definitely there is like almost no body roll. Yeah. yeah, I didn't want to push it, but it certainly felt like you can uh, you can definitely have fun with it. Yeah. And an interesting point, I read that these don't have the park gear or the park, the, the palm, the transmission, because when these were fully loaded for duty, the transmission, that component wasn't rated for that much weight. Ah. So they just put a big parking brake in it instead. And I, I also love the idea of having that less of a movement in that, because again, when I was just doing, going back and forth, it's just so easy. Yeah. And it'll handle the weight of just the vehicle and normal use, but for military use, yeah, it wasn't, they, they took it out. But there's then, actually kits to install them again if people want them again. Absolutely. In, interesting. Yes. And then we have this uh, power distribution box. We mentioned that before. This phenomenal lighting on this vehicle, nice music, and it's all integrated into this uh, power distribution box that flips open you and can fold it out we've got the winch controller right yep. here the winch control for front and back it's all there so definitely and this is where you activate everything all the lights lit up you have power distribution and then you can turn the lights on you can see how it looks on the outside with the lights yeah you can see the lights right here these are not on we have these the lights, auxiliary lights and that on. thing is just insane yeah. i had that at night 
on some back roads here, Apple Orchard roads, and that is like your own daylight in front of you. Uh, it, it's unbelievable. So have another look at it. It's an amazing example that is ready to work. It's ready to enjoy. It's ready uh, for doing whatever you need to do with it. So let's check out the underbody. Today we're checking out the underbody of this Humvee. Impeccably dry, very well preserved and now protected with wax oil, the famous English product used on the Land Rovers, Range Rovers, many other vehicles. This Humvee is quite special. I'm going to show you with this walk through under the vehicle, all the components. And we did very thorough preparation of the underbody, removed all the loose uh, material. If there was any surface rust, we treated it with a rust converting uh, primer. And then we applied this black hard wax. And this vehicle has been driven recently. There are no oil leaks or any fluid saturations. It's nice and dry. As you can see, all the drive shafts are there. The boots were done recently. There were a lot of upgrades on this vehicle. So if you actually spend the time and go to our listing, you'll be able to see everything that was done. And this hard wax material I'll show you right here. You can see it's kind of like, it literally is as a hard wax and it's, it's non-drying and it's a phenomenal protection. Quite expensive, but if you um, spend the time and money to apply the product, it works out very, very well. We have a great success rate with it. And you can see even before, before the product application, you can see on the inside, of the frame rails. Uh, this vehicle had, uh, it, it's been in great shape. And again, it's something that we just figured for uh, the protection, we would apply the hard wax. Now that you've seen the underbody video, we're gonna wrap this video up and we're gonna thank you for uh, spending your time on Alpha Cars channel. Uh, we hope you share our enthusiasm about special vehicles, and this is definitely one of them. Consider sharing, subscribing, let us know which videos you like the best by simply clicking that like button. Thanks for watching. My name is Dimitri, and I'm here with Ian.